Just like that. Oliviero, the Sparvier. Oh, Pumetta, where are you going? We need you another year because last year when we bought you, we actually won the Scudetto. So we need you again, more than ever. Ciao. <laughs> so Milan just won the first match of the season for 2-1 against Koln. What is Koln? I don't even know if the pronunciation is correct, but um, we, we beat the a German team uh, that is uh, 10 days ahead of us uh, on training because they start the Bundesliga on the 5th of August. And uh, what I loved about this match, it's not really the result, it's not really who we beat because it's called, last year was 7th in the Bundesliga, so it's like beating Fiorentina, so it's nothing special. But the confidence, guys, in the first half, you get your business done. It's exactly the same copy that we saw on the last match of Milan last season against Sassuolo. On the first half, it get the job done. Let's see, job like a hitman, you know, the, we put our suit on, we do the murder, and that's it, job done. First half, twice Olivier Giroud in a splendid form already. I loved it. Very confident team, very confident Pioli, and we, we, just, we just won uh, 2 1. The last goal was the 2 the 1. Wow, well, Puma was jumping on the, on the kitchen. Uh, the last goal of Col, the, the 2 1, uh, was scored in the last five minutes where we were playing with players from Primavera. So it doesn't really matter, you know, it's uh, people, uh, players from 2005, 2006, 2007. We honestly, we don't care. Um, what we, who I really liked, of course, is uh, Olivier Giroud because again he scored twice. Ante Rebic, some players say at the moment he's on fire. I'm still not impressed. I'm expecting way too. Probably, I mean, my expectation on Rebic are really, really high. And today, as a captain, he felt a little bit the pressure, so he performed really well. And of course, uh, Pierino Calulu. Even though in the second half, half he did a big mistake, but. Still the best one in our defense. The, the player that I didn't like at all is actually Bakayoko, guys. Bakayoko and Brahim Diaz. We need to take a decision right there. Bakayoko, I saw him going to Casa Milan, talking to Maldini. I don't know what they were talking about, if they were about to say, hey, look, Baka, you can stay. You have to show us something because otherwise it's time to go. I personally believe that for him, it's time to go. It's time to change air, and we need to guide, to find a good substitution. Maybe a young player. Diaz, no. Uh, I received a message from a friend today. He was like, "I think we already saw the best Diaz. I don't. We're not expecting anything more from Diaz. Uh, I don't know, guys. I'm. I will see a lot of running from Brian Diaz. A lot of effort, but really nothing. A number ten." guys of the the team champions of italy need to produce much more much more than what brain diaz is doing he's a good te good technique if good good technique great talent but still i don't know what do you think guys about brain diaz but still i'm not convinced we need to create some competition to this guy we really have to make me make him feel like he's not the on, on only our number 10. we need to make him feel like you know, there are other players that uh, they can steal your uh, number 10 jersey. And that's why I think it's necessary to put him a little bit of competition. They're talking about the Belgium guy, the Cattler, what's his name? The, uh, the Cattle guy. <laughs> they, uh, they were talking about Dybala. I don't know, but we really need some competition over there because I, I feel... I don't know, I, I, he's very young, he needs to put some muscle that we need a little bit more from him, absolutely, for sure. And the last things I want to say about Bakayoko also, uh, and about our midfield, and now Frank C left and went to Barcelona. Now, he, you hear every day since January, we're talking about this Renato Sanchez things. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm going crazy with Renato Sanchez. He's already told, told us no a few years ago, if you remember well, when he went to Bayern Munich. I know it's great, guys, but uh, I don't know. I, I feel that Paolo Maldini want people that really deserve and want the AC Milan jersey. This guy, I don't seem very convinced. He's just looking at, at, after this. So let's say provo uh, something that uh, an Italian journalist was saying a few days ago is instead of taking somebody that is want to wear this jersey just because of money, what if you give chances, you know, 
creating competition in between Adli and Pobega. They're both fantastic players. There is a chance for them because Benassera and Tonali, we know they cannot run all the campionato. So why not keep them both? Of co- I know the quality is going to lower it, but if we have like a good physical substitution to Bakayoko getting somebody strong and then create a competition in between Pobega and Adli, maybe we don't really need Renato Sanchez. That's my thoughts, okay? Anyway, I'm very happy for our first match. We won against Col 2-1. And again, Oliviero Giroud did like this because we are the champions of it. So I'm very happy for our first match. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.